Michael. Hello, this is the Lowe's Ride Show once again. And uh, as you heard, we're uh, on this big ship, and uh, we're headed for China. But uh, the, the, uh, 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 the guests will be getting off the ship but uh, first before we reach our destination. But, uh, we, and I want to, I have fascinating guests here. This is Ming uh, Tuma, and she is, uh, fr was a friend of the late George O'Keefe, and is a, a, a great artist in her own right, of course. Uh, and then I have uh, Joyce Whitby, a regular on the ship, who'd actually gotten an invitation to go to China. And tomorrow. just the other day, or was it yesterday? I know we were to leave tomorrow. To leave tomorrow? Really? This is not fiction. <laughs> the only thing that's fiction is this ship, and I shouldn't say that. <laughs> and then we have Wargo here, Andrew Wargo, who is responsible for bringing this uh, great artist to mm. us. She's wonderful. So uh, she has uh, uh, these are her paintings in, in, in back of us. And she also has fascinating photos of her paintings in, the, in a book here. But Hemmings knows we have to say hello to Ming. Mim. To Ming. Oh, well. M Y M. Mim. Yes, Tuma. Mim. I'll never say it right. Uh, <laughs> how do you spell that? M Y M. It's M Y M. Mim. And, uh, anybody, uh, people will just have to struggle with it, that's all. <laughs> so uh, it's a very unusual. It's just as good as Y2K. Y2K? <laughs> yes. We all got used to that, but didn't we? And, and actually, it was Marilyn. At the time that I knew O'Keefe, I was Marilyn Tuma, with an H. But as I described in the book I wrote, that uh, Tuma uh, is spelled T-U-M-A. Yes. And the H is a Germanic H that was put in at Ellis Island. It's, an, it's not correct. Where is the H? Well, T-H instead of T-U-M-A. Well, is your name T-U or, or T-H? It's T-U-M-A. T-U-M-A. Which is a, 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 actually, in Czech, it means monument, or it comes from the Latin tumere, which uh, is mound, something that endures. So, something. Oh, that's very good for your name. How perfect is your perfect. paintings endured. Yes. And uh, you were studying with your George O'Keefe and her paintings in you must have had the vibrations off your name there, <laughs> helping her, too. Uh, well, well, yeah, sure, but the idea is I wanted to make paintings that would endure because, or that are uh, symbols of uh, endurance in nature, because nature is what endures beyond us, yeah. is it not? Yes. It's the environment. Right. The environment is our, our teacher, and that was true of her. He uh, went to the uh, southwest, and, and said, New Mexico is mine. In fact, uh, when I was there, I found it to be quite hot. Hot. Huh. Yes. Uh -huh. 120, 110 degrees mm. was not an exaggeration. Gee, so I couldn't stand I, that. I came to the East End, <laughs> uh, grateful Hampton. for the great ocean. <laughs> to the Hamptons. And, oh, and the yes. wonderful Hampton air. And also, you know, the, just the uh, fact that the ocean has always been identified from all time with birth and regeneration. And those are the things that matter to me in my paintings. Yes, and mm -hmm. it's always changing. That's one reason well, I like the ocean and the water. It's, it never stays the same. That's right, yes. Like those mountains in the west, and all oh, they never move. <laughs> they don't they well, stay the same. <laughs> one and can <laughs> say, looking at them, though, they have a, trem a tremendous force, another, another uh, ecological force on us, and we, we all have a personal journey that we make in our lives, and I think many people, I'm thinking now of my father that had a sign on his desk, and it said, I climbed my mountain when I was 84 years old. Did mm. he really? Actually, he climbed the mountain within himself, you know. Uh -huh. that is, he didn't really climb the mountain. No, he didn't. He had a, a, a sign, and of course, he lived to 93. Well, what else did it say on the sign? Just, I climbed the mountain at 83? Yes, that meant uh, I, I came to terms with the obstacles in my life. I came to terms with, uh, you know, someone asked me, why 
the, of course, we're here because of the letters that I auctioned at yeah, Sotheby's. Yeah. And someone asked, uh, yeah, why please. did you uh, save the letters? Now, it happened that my dad, at a very young age, used to have a scrapbook of beautiful thoughts that he would pull from, you know, the Depression, and the times were mm -hmm. hard. Yeah. And, and he put these thoughts into a scrapbook and pasted them in carefully. And when he was needing to, he looked through it for uh, inspiration, for yeah. support, for, for courage, for courage. Yeah, like for courage. It to go on. And so, mm -hmm. in a sense, I already had that from him. And when it came to journaling and learning to reflect and so on, I. I kept books of my own, yes. and so that's ultimately uh, why uh, I saved the letters. Well, right. yes, of course, you certainly saved the letters. Mm -hmm. By the way, I, did I introduce you, Joyce? Yes, you did. I don't mm -hmm. know why I thought did. I didn't. All you right. certainly did. Yes. All right, I put my mind at On ease. the way to China. She was on the way to oh, China, and right. then she... I know I talked about that. <laughs> but I didn't that. go. She didn't go. I didn't surmount that obstacle. Right. Now, share, uh, with us, <laughs> and then share with us how... You're in, you're in your 20s, you graduated from Stanford, and ha the next step, how you, you contacted uh, O'Keefe, and tell us on that. All right, progression. well. Uh, well, and what the letters are, because. Yeah, we'll get to that in a minute. the contents of the letters. Let me take that question, because the, uh, the relationship that, uh, well, I, uh, the relationship was based on the mentoring uh, a business uh, mind that George O'Keefe had. She was my mentor. Uh, she knew that uh, actually I was struggling for survival, and she bought some of the work to make it easier for me to live. It was a wonderful uh, relationship, and I, I believe that I, uh, we both shared each other. I gave to her, she gave mm, to she me. She wouldn't have bought that work if she didn't like the work exactly. and like you. She had thrown that work right out <laughs> into the sun if she, uh, she, she didn't was like it. As, yes, she was, uh, it told me so ma that in so many words, that yes. she appreciated that. And actually, uh, that's what maintained it over a period of eight years, the fact that she maintained the relationship with me. And so you wrote to her and, and she I wrote did, to you. And I did, yes. This is one of her letters, which I think yeah, Andrew, I have would like I to. made it bigger for people to see it. Yes. But uh, there's a Give point. Give it to Lois. Yeah. Well, can you read it for us? There's a point mm. where. Uh, you want me to read this? O'Keefe no, gave no, hold it up. Yeah, O'Keefe, right. O'Keefe gave it 2,000. I just started. I have your letter. What, yeah. what a wonder. Yeah, I hate to show it. I'm trying to read it. You know, I want to read it. <laughs> well, no, we're not reading it. The handwriting is wonderful. Yeah. I Very have your letter. I, it will take me a little while to get the time to get the check to you, but it will get there. <laughs> Do not yeah. hurry to send you your creation. Give it no thought at the moment. We'll write more later. Hastily, sincerely, George O'Keefe, I want you to be working free in your mind. She didn't want to have to worry about bills and things. She was very nice. She was wonderful to you. You can tell from her signature and from the writings uh, uh, with the, 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 big, the big loops and all. But she's very generous. So the issue of money comes up frequently in this correspondence. Yeah. You see, this is well, it would with a much younger artist. Yes. And, uh, but she had enough money to go for, for a year to Mexico in Guadalajara, was it? Guadalajara. To, to live there, because $2,000 in 1960 was a lot of money. Yeah. A man could, and his wife could live for 5000 What's that? This is the catalog, uh, catalog from, from the Sotheby's. From Sotheby's. Yeah. Oh, this was well, the. Well, that has things in it that this is her writing again. Yeah. Well, we had yeah, a. You can't miss her writing. <laughs> well, <laughs> what was analyzer's handwriting? So. She oh, so I wonderful. I uh, that hands, tarot cards, paintings. That's I great. Am, I'm very analytical. Very good. Excellent. Well, well it has to be. It's the track manuscript. upon which we move. We move. Is is the yeah, yeah. the left well, brain? Well, we're at Sotheby's. Yeah, I wanted right. you to show these, yeah. Lois, because that's, that's Albert came to look oh, at the uh, to look Mazel. at the John Lennon and also to meet him. Albert Mazel. It looks like he doesn't want his picture taken. Uh, he looks <laughs> like don't show this at, on the show. Here, look at here, that. Here, here, here's Albert and, and uh, me and, and, and Debbie Toomer, who oh. did a lot of great. Now press. this is Debbie Toomer. This she person did a fabulous with long press. hair, mm -hmm. did and uh, she has no relation. No, to no, me. funny. Right. Uh, uh, tomb at all. Really? Uh, no. We had a really good offer. This is Sotheby's auction, June yes. 18th, 2010. And 
the Go person ahead. who orchestrated that uh, with us is on vacation and will be back uh, this next week. And so no. when she comes back. You've got to have the person in charge. Yes. Right. We'll can't finalize have the, the underlings yeah, exactly. what do we accept He's the offer got spots all over his shirt. Look at that. Yeah, <laughs> Alfred. Well, he, he just, we just, that's probably one of his. He didn't know he was coming. I called him, and he, here he is being interviewed. Here's shop, the man uh, that sold the, uh, the sold the, the, the John Lennon went for a million two hundred thousand dollars, Lois. Yeah, and the John Lennon to lyrics. Yeah, one I million. guess Rent Rogo told you it, his life starts after Sotheby's. It's <laughs> everything uh, before Sotheby's, after Sotheby's. Yeah, me, right. That's how excited <laughs> he I was. was at this. I never saw anything. I never uh, saw a million dollars go that quickly. Um, well, well, now we have to. I want. Uh, we have to talk about the paintings okay. and well, make sure one of the that, things e that everybody sees these marvelous paintings. I'm working on a book, and this is a, a few examples of the paintings that will be in the, in the book. This is a uh, marvelous painting where, if you know, well, what, they're on that. Marsha Rosen and I are working fine. on, on it. it. Pardon me, you're on the, the, the director's on these paintings now. Yes. That, that's, uh, that's, is that in, now with the, this painting? Can you get well, this painting? This one the is goes. the one in the middle. This is on the yeah, website. Go. Okay, here we go. This is on the uh, website for O'Keefeandme.com, uh, and that is uh, a relationship between the two seagulls. Pardon me, is that what this uh, website's called, O'Keefe and Me? Yes. You can type that into the computer? Yes. O'Keefe and Me? Yes. You have to put www first? Yes, that's right. <laughs> All right, well, people, yes. I don't want people to miss uh, seeing your paintings uh, on the computer. Oh, okay. And then there's this one. And this is the cabbage. This is Ripple in Time, and that's a pastel, uh, of course, and uh, okay. the other was an acrylic. This is the acrylic. Oh. And I also work in sculptured paintings. Sculptured yes. paintings. The sculptured paintings are, yes, what I actually have on exhibit at the Lauren G. shop in Sag Harbor and also the Full Moon Gallery or Art Center oh. in uh, East Mauritius. Oh, that's where you live. Yeah. And we have uh, also a, a few words about the God's architecture and what it means. Let me read uh, this for you. This is, this is your philosophy. The, the stable and unchanging and fundamental, the essential things. That, as I said before, uh, the earth is a sphere, and then the spiral is one of the dominant. So this represents a spiral. This is a spiral. A sphere yes. over there. Yeah. And it's one of the fundamental shapes in our galaxy and so forth. A spiral in your ear. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. So we have Ooh, we have uh, this. Uh, Can I read this? Here? Yes, please. This is yes. this is about your philosophy. It says Mim Tumba, an artist living on the east end of Long Island, who draws much of her inspiration from the shape of shells that she collects from the shores, nearby shores, has exhibited individual work from her recent series of sculptural sculpted paintings in group shows on the east end. Lunar Crust, one of the titles, and the Day Star, another title, for example, are two of twenty of the artist's recent sculpted shell paintings. Three-dimensional studies defining forms of non-geometric curvature inspired by the spiraling shell shapes found locally, mindful of all the seaside beauty of the Hamptons, which she has relocated in 1992. Where are you down to now? Good, great. People, uh, well, where can they get this printed uh, word? Is that on your website? That yeah. is, the, yes, that sign is yeah. uh, uh, on the... Yeah scroll that's in the, the both of the right. exhibits. People don't pay attention on the television <laughs> when you read so no, One last thing. True. Henry Gelzaga, who was the former curator of the, of the 20th century paintings for the Met Metropolitan Museum, when he met her in the early 60s, said that uh, she, uh, she's gone to another level beyond, a uh, new level, uh -huh. uh, beyond George O'Keefe, and, uh, and is particularly impressed Thank with her. They can read light, that on light. the website. Well, the in idea light. is the radiant cool. energy in the environment. And I, want, I want to show this picture. Henry picked up on that. Yeah, yeah. I know, I know. Henry, and yeah. he, was a, oh. he was a great uh, supporter. Of you. Yes, it was great to have a curator of the Metropolitan Museum behind but you. But the, no, the radiant energy in our environment is, is larger than we are. This is, is a uh, uh, the inner the glow that's inside that's the seedling as it makes this turn in, in the root shape. Mm -hmm. And uh, all of the uh, forms of regeneration and birth that come from the ocean. But the shell, I guess we have to talk just a minute about the meaning of the shell. Huh? That's the whelk, the channel oh, whelk, yes. a live, a, oh, pi oh, a picture yeah. of a live one. And then this is the shell that you'll see on the sound. Uh, 
there are the uh, the intricacy of that channel is simply oh Beautiful. there was Incredible. a there was a picture of you with a hat on in and here. all Where the shells uh, <laughs> st they 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 um, they reflect the uh, the spiral mm. the the bivalves or the are or the single univalves oh, as this one reflects the spiral are, are all these paintings uh, all, are all these paintings this is when uh, Mim was younger. Is this uh, are all yes. these paintings on your website that are in this yes, book? Yes, I have I have a website that is uh, mimtuma.com slash architecture slash artwork. We have it at the end of the show. And you'll see many of the, the all of these paintings and more. This is the book that I'm working on. So these will be uh, there's a published soon yeah. by the end of the summer. Animal lovers would like to know if uh, if, if O'Keefe had any animals. Well, she did like well, cats. I see now, you're with a cat. Mauser is 14 years old. Uh, this picture, she was about eight wow. or nine. And that's you with her, uh -huh. of course. Good. Five years ago. And uh, actually, uh, O'Keefe did a t one time like cats. She also liked snakes, as you know. Yes, isn't that awful? <laughs> snakes. Oh, yeah, she did. The, you know, no. they, they come around in that hot weather, in that yes. dry sure. hot weather. Yes. And, and, and she tried to keep them out, though. She put something up, didn't she? Did she did put a form of wire, uh, a six-inch yeah. yeah, uh, yeah, mesh, right. out there uh, at a distance from the uh, ranch. Yeah. Imagine, they still get on yes. the patio, you said. Well, they did, sure. I, I saw them, but yeah. uh, uh, let's not go there. <laughs> Wouldn't you think she'd rather the snake, live near the ocean? The snake, by the way, is a meander when it moves. This is a basic shape in nature. Yeah, well. And so it has its beauty. And you know it does People don't move that coil. way, though. It does <laughs> coil in a yes, spiral. Yes, it has yeah. its own spiral. And it has its own spiral. Yes. There are many wonderful things that we don't have an appreciation of, and what I suppose. It, what is that shell called, the Nautilus? You the, know. The, the Nautilus. Yeah, yes. that so certainly has. That's right. So they named the submarine after that. That's right. That shell. Okay. What uh, do you call that? Well, that is. that. That is the, the chambered nautilus, yes. you know, which closes off uh, and and survives be and has its own uh, mechanism of, of air-filled chambers. They can be very private. They don't have to go and rent a private place or anything. No. <laughs> when I first went to see O'Keefe, and some people do ask me about that first meeting, mm. from Stanford, I wrote a letter with a poem. It's It was a congratulatory. Uh, the poem said, O'Keefe sits in her desert, and there are bones in the road. You know, O'Keefe's road has bones in the road. Uh, a friend wrote that, and I made a drawing. And we sent this photo, this picture to her and received a large card back, the starlight night, that said, uh, in answer to our question, may we come and visit? She said, yes, G-O-K. Thanks for your page. Mm. So we arrived. And we spent uh, dinner time with her. We looked at rattlesnakes, rattles on her cat, on her cupboard. Yes, she showed us that. Um, and then we had, we stayed that night. And actually, in reflection, think about the fact that her housekeeper was there. She was there alone, and she trusted us. We were two people. She young, never met you before. We had never met before. You just sent her that. Uh, yes, but she hey, was but somewhat charmed and also. You were two yeah. young women. Uh, you could have oh, been a man. Because that's yeah. a postcard oh. from Sotheby's. Uh, the postcard that, that she sent back to them. And she it's said, the upside down, man. the other way. Uh, yeah. So Show that to the people. She, she the said, the you can't see anything. So that began the, the relationship. You so, can't see a thing. Yeah, on the bottom, the small thing there. The, it talks about the. Yeah, yeah that, that's the postcard. This about is that picture. As mentor. That, that card. Mm -hmm. is, that's the little postcard she sent back. That was in the in the. They can zoom in on it. Have a zoom in on it. Mm -hmm. You know, by be able to interpret. Yeah, yeah, wait, wait. Can you zoom in on it? Here we go. Here it's we go. Too yeah, small. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, okay, but it's a small, you can well, tell the little starlight. It, I'll tell you that one thing that struck me, because, of course, this was the first, uh, my first, uh, uh, this was the first time I had ever seen this painting. This is a painting from uh, Texas, and uh, she painted those uh, stars as little squares. Ah. I think that we <laughs> can see that quite clearly. Isn't okay. that funny? They're all small windows yeah, in the, oh in the sky. Wow. Ah. They're all windows window. in the sky. Yes. 
So okay, from this uh, side, it's very hard to see that little paint. How big was it? Uh, well, in reality, I'm in not reality. sure, but I, I know well, the note card was 9 by 12. The painting. She yeah, made a little well, postcard. Yeah. Good mm -hmm. ideas. Well, mm -hmm. And also, I just want to mention how much publicity you got at the Warren G. Gallery that Debbie was able to coordinate for you. Here you are, full page on Newsday. Yes, right. And the independent did pages, and you got everybody. Oh, yeah. Back when I was very terrific. young, and, and some very people well have received. asked, especially Helga Gelsaller, how the idea of radiant energy became a dominant theme in my work. Well, uh, when my dad was uh, very young and I was five years old, he used to get up at 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock in the morning and go down into the basement to stoke the uh, furnace, turn over the coals. And I remember this small window that was an Isinglass window. Yeah, I remember that. And I would look Me in there too. and see this, this sprinkling of, of uh, sparkling yeah. of coals ignite. Right. And it was years later when I was at uh, Northwestern and I was studying painting, we had a model, uh, and the first thing that came out was an oblong a painting of a figure of a man uh, with a fire at the bottom of the painting. And, and I think it was unconscious that that nuclear center from my loving family, from my father at a very early age, uh, I found that that was the strength to become an artist. And it carried through uh, into, well, what well, the present and what I still see as God's country, a beautiful world. Beautiful. Also, I want you to show this. This is, is a, there there's else? a thing called Odd Hansen, which is going to be next to uh, mm -hmm. 7th, 8th, 9th, 10th and, and, and in West Hampton. And here's a nice ad that Mr. Uh, Mr. Novak did for her with her, her, her morning glory. Is that Congratulating we, her. Do we want to talk Novak. about um, the chair? I think yeah, oh, one second. Oh, yes, see. I just yes. Yeah, see if they can get this morning glory. Yeah, this is glory. very pretty. The morning this glory is fabulous. This is one of your famous paintings. And, and this, Richard Novak this uh, was very nice glory. to send out, give a nice uh, advertising. Yes. Congratulating her. This morning her. glory as well. No, zoom in. You she's going to zoom in on it. Yes. Well, well I have are. two ways of painting it. It's just that this looks familiar. There you go. Here you go. There. That beautiful. There. Well, I have two ways of painting it. Actually, I also did a sculptured painting of it oh. in blue, which is mm -hmm. 44 in diameter. So it can be in three dimensions. And those things are shells. Those ideas are shells. And the idea That's of the shell shape Show these is, to us. Oh, yes. Well, I, I want to uh, yes. talk about the dress and the... Uh, there That's you go. very different. Uh, the morning glory is the blue one. It's a sculptural thing. Yep. It's yeah, well, the, yeah, that's it's very You see a whole row of them there. You see they're on a wall. And they're very quite big. Very modern, my God. And they're God. very big. They're <laughs> this big. This is real <laughs> advanced modern. This is, uh, it this is. This isn't from well, the, it's, the, and, yes, and it's, the yesterday. And it's as old as fine. The materials are, are modern. They're fiberglass. I should say. And, and it's really cool. advanced. Uh, mm -hmm. Beautiful. This is. <laughs> Thank right. you very yeah. much. That's and they're amazing, and you see them great. real. Pastels have existed mm -hmm. for 400 years. You have one or two of these at the uh, well, Lawrence Street Gallery right That's now. That's right, yeah, and also the, uh, the Full Moon Gallery. Where's East that Marichis. Full Moon Gallery? That's yeah. in East Mauritius. Oh, that's right. Yes. That's like your gallery. Then. It's a beautiful yeah. place. You'll, you'll be open all summer, yeah. and there will be uh, a family service uh, gala in August. So people can go and see the sculptures hanging there. Sure. Well, quick, t quick, tell us about that chair and, oh, and, the, and, the and chair. Yeah, Jojo yeah, yeah. Keats. All right. Dress. One time, I was sitting in 1968, actually, on the patio with her, and we were always uh, about as far as you and I are apart, except that she was on a chaise lounge with her dog Chia, and I was sitting in that chair, and uh, I looked over. Uh, we were both looking out at a distance. We like to have our own vision, and we didn't <laughs> always look face to face. But we would yeah. talk about art or life, or she would ask me if I had enough money to live. Ah. So very practical. But that particular night, uh, I said to her, "This is a nice. This is a good chair. <laughs> it was comfortable." Yes. And she said back, "Well, you may have it if you want it. You can take right. it with you when you leave." Oh. So a Beautiful. few days nice. later, Great I pleasure. packed up and I took this chair apart because it was portable. And as you said, it looked like a general's chair oh, yes. Civil from War. the Civil War. That's what I thought. But yeah. she <laughs> used it and in her Model T Ford back in the 30s, and she would 
uh, yeah. assemble it in the desert and sit in it to paint. And then so she sat down to paint. And she told me that. Why, that's surprising. Well, I, I wouldn't say all, I, I couldn't verify that. I wasn't there, but I uh, you told me that she <laughs> sat in the chair well, she when she was out there looking well, at she things. Well, she might have rested. And you, and you said yes. she painted on the back of the back of the car or something? Yes. Well, you, the, the she'd, open, she'd open the, uh, yes. Yes. the, the trunk. It, it must have been a wonderful relief right. because the, the rumble desert seat, dear. Right. Right. Yeah. <laughs> and so Not trunk. Uh -huh. when I packed it up, she said, it's just a bunch of sticks. <laughs> <laughs> but well, I you still have it. it. I had it recovered. And I, it's in my studio. Right. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> so that you could keep it. Uh, and that was an archival film, I believe. Oh, we're coming into port, I think. We're in Shanghai right, really now, great. I guess. Okay. We're coming into port. I want to thank you very it's a much. It's being here. Uh, thank you. Good, Nim strong hand there. For yes. your painting. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Min uh, Tuma and Joyce Whitby and uh, Andrew Wardo and LTV. Uh, I want to thank the directors, uh, uh, Lena and um, and uh, J J uh, J C. This is her book, by the way, J C. Burdine. Uh, she did the illustrations and uh, wrote the text for this. She was <laughs> directing with Lena, and she was working together on this project. But I think went along very well. And Did so I uh, want to thank everybody. Beautiful. I think, I don't know. I never know when. I thought I heard the fog horn. Well, you did. Didn't I? We have about a half a second. Oh. I mean, a half a minute. Oh, well, all right. Uh, where are you going back to Santa Mauritius from here? I'm going to Southampton. I'm taking Andrew back to uh, Riverhead. Oh, my and goodness. Yes. Oh, that's a trip. Yes, it Ooh. was. Yes. I know. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, he try. has. Uh, Let me get a shot of the three. Well, well. It's been very well. Yes, yeah, so I thought yeah, so. It goes quick. Well, well, it well we talked about everything. Okay. Why I held on to the letters, what the content of the letters yeah, was, yeah. but I didn't yeah. tell. I didn't say that uh, I had decided to let them go because it was. Uh, my instinct, uh, and that I was sure of my instinct and my voice, that, that I wanted to say.